Okay, so let's move on to this. Let's introduce this concept of pressure in a fluid, in a liquid rather. Okay, although in a fluid. Okay, so say now, let's look at a picture. Say now we have um, this volume of fluid. It's in a container. It's got two pistons on either side, and we're applying forces on either side. So the fluid, the liquid, the fluid is under compression. It's experiencing a bulk stress. Okay. Now let's consider um, this triangle here. Okay, this wedge-shaped um, volume of fluid. All right. Now, because we know that f uh, a fluid cannot, cannot um, resist a shear stress, we know that this wedge-shaped volume of fluid can only uh, resist a normal force. Okay, so there's no there's no shear stresses on these surfaces. There's only um, there are only f these normal forces being applied. Okay, I think we're still we're still together. And what we'll see is that because this wedge of uh, fluid is in equilibrium, because it's in equilibrium, okay, that means that this force plus this force plus that force gives us um, this vector diagram which means that it's in equilibrium that force vector plus that fo plus that force vector plus that force vector gets back to zero which means it's in equilibrium there's no acceleration of this fluid okay but what we need to see is that this triangle this vector triangle is actually similar to this triangle okay similar to that triangle and so this gives us this ratio okay f1 the ratio of f1 to f2 to f3 is equal to the ratio of a1 to a2 to a3 okay these areas the ratio of this force vector the magnitude of F1 to F2 to F3, the ratios of these, is the same as the ratios of the area 1 to area 2 to area 3. Okay, these ratios are the same. Okay? Which allows us to say that the magnitude of force 1 over the area of uh, area 1, over the, of area 1, is equal to the ratio of force 2 to area 2 is equal to F3 over area 3. Okay? In other words, the ratio of the magnitude of the force exerted by the fluid on a surface, the ratio of that force and the area is constant. Okay? F1 over A1 is F2 over A2. So this force over that area is equal to that force over that area is equal to that force over that area. And this is called, this ratio is called pressure. Okay? It's this constant value and it's a scalar, a constant scalar value when the fluid is under compression um, and it is taken to be positive when it's under compression. Okay? Alright, so I think we'll continue in the next one.